Hey everybody, this is your psychic Christine Wallace again. Thank you so much for being here and listening in. I would love to see some of your comments and of course any questions you may have, I'm happy to answer. And be sure to check out my website, trustedpsychicadvisor.com. And if you need a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, don't hesitate to reach out, 855-70-TAROT. That's 855-70-T-A-R-O-T. So today's topic is about your words. Do you have any idea how powerful your words are? Think about the words that some people have used on you and how powerful they've become in your life, whether they be positive or whether they be negative. Words actually manifest, okay? So, you know, a lot of the times when you're feeling down or insecure or second guessing yourself, instead of letting this kind of stuff take hold of you, speak positivity over your life. Speak positivity over your present and your future and do your very best to try not to reflect on negative events that have happened in your past. You know, there's a lot going on with other people that may be speaking negatively to you. You have to, you know, you have to examine that situation a little deeper and you have to trust your gut about situations like that. Some people project their fears, their insecurities on you. Some people are threatened by you for one reason or another. Some people are jealous or envious of you. You know, I mean, if someone really comes out and says something negatively about you, and you didn't really do anything to bring this on, and you're not in like an altercation with this person, then you have to ask yourself, you know, where is this coming from? Does this sound like someone that's just putting me down because of some other underlying issue that they're dealing with? Like I said, the jealousy or projection or whatever the case may be, or does this sound like constructive criticism. Okay. And, uh, we tend to, you know, repeat these negative events that have occurred in our past, a lot of crap that people have said to us. And we, it kind of, it's on repeat a lot in our mind, but you're going to have to, you know, if you are going to reflect at least be honest with yourself about it, okay? And ask yourself, why did this person, why do, why, what do I think the real underlying issue is as to why this person said what they said or did what they did to me? And if you really meditate on it, and I mean that, it, go into meditation on this and the truth will be, revealed to you. Okay, so moving forward, let's not, you know, stray too far from the topic here. The topic is speaking positivity, speaking abundance. Your words have power. So I have a, you know, some mantras here and I'd like you, meaning my listeners, to just go ahead and repeat after me. But before we begin, let's go ahead and take a breath, like a, do a breath exercise. Let's breathe in positive energy through our nose and let's exhale negative energy from the mouth. That's it. One. And then exhale. 
Let's exhale anything that doesn't serve us. We're going to do this a total of three times. Breathing in positive energy through the nose. Exhaling negative energy from the mouth. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Breathing in positive energy through the nose. Exhaling negative energy from our mouths. Now repeat after me. I am grateful. I realize that what is right about my life outnumbers what I perceive to be wrong about my life. I choose to focus on what makes me feel good. I am grateful. I am worry-free. I release worry over things I cannot control. Instead, I choose to focus on things that are pleasing to me. When I release worry, I allow room for solutions to enter my life. I am worry-free. I am worthy. I am enough. And I am worthy of receiving everything I desire. I do not need to prove myself to those who would seek to diminish me. I am worthy. I am resilient. If my mood wavers, it doesn't stay that way permanently. I allow myself to feel my feelings until I can refocus my thoughts on the positive. I do not judge myself for being human. I am resilient. I am love. I may not have always made the right choices, but I did my best. I have so much love to give and everyone around me can feel it. I am given a clean slate. Every single day. To be the best version of me. That I can be. I am forgiven. I am love. I am compassionate. I understand how important it is to have compassion. And not just for others, but for myself as well. I forgive myself for the times I may have let myself down. I forgive others for the same. I realize that, like me, everyone is doing the best they know with the tools they have. I am 
compassionate. Very important, ladies and gentlemen, to forgive yourself and to be compassionate to yourself, your past self, and your present self. Forgive yourself and understand that you really did do the best you had you could do at the time with the tools you had to work with. Continue to repeat after me. I am alive. I honor my life by letting go. Dancing, singing, and feeling the fullness of my joyful energy. I am my true self when I am having fun. I am alive. Let's always make a little bit of time, ladies and gentlemen, to have a little fun. Having a little fun each day, doing something you enjoy, helps to heal the inner child. I am a creator. Everything around me began as a thought. My clothes, my home, and even the roads I drive on were once just thoughts. When I take the time to contemplate my surroundings, I grasp all of the thoughts that took place to create the world. Likewise, my thoughts have created things. My thoughts create my actions and thereby create my life as I know it. Therefore, I strive and I strive to think about my desires optimistically. I am a creator. Pay close attention to the meaning of being a creator and the power of your thoughts and the power of your words. I am aware when I pay attention to my surroundings, I can feel appreciation for everything. I see so much beauty in the world. Being aware means living in the present and fully experiencing my life in the here and now. I am aware. I am still. I understand that there are times to move and there are times to be still. In my stillness, I seek greater understanding. I take time to rest and contemplate. I strive for unconditional happiness. Here in the present, I am still. I am open. Vulnerability is my strength, not my weakness. My openness attracts those who are beneficial to my highest good. When I lean into my feelings, I am honoring my truth. When I communicate my feelings, in a loving way, 
I am speaking my truth. I am open. I am happy. I take control of my happiness. When my happiness depends on others' actions, I am at the mercy of things I cannot control. Instead, I choose to cultivate consistent happiness by focusing on the things I love about myself. I am happy. I am free. I release myself from the thoughts and feelings that have held me back. Any guilt, shame, embarrassment, self-doubt, and fear that I harbor, I release. Today, I am free. Let's take a deep breath in through our nose and breathing in positivity. And let's go ahead and exhale anything that doesn't serve us. Thank you so much for listening in. I want to wish all of you the very best of luck. And please be sure to check out my blog for more instructions and information on living your best life now. Visit TrustedPsychicAdvisor.com and to contact me for a one-on-one -on -one reading, it's 855-70-T-A-R-O-T. That's 855-70-TAROT. Thank you so much. Namaste.